Hey guys, Trumu here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today for you guys, I've got 10 awesome, clever redstone devices uh, by a whole bunch of people. And as you know, 1.9 is coming out very soon. Uh, you know what that means. 1.8 is coming to an end. So I've got 10 redstone devices right here that work in 1.8, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, if you do, leave a like down below. Uh, but other than that, let's go ahead and get started. Number 1. So this is our first device here, it is called the Pop-Up Block Swapper by Dojoga, and it's pretty cool, um, if I could find the lever here where to go, also I have to switch my field of view, sorry guys, and uh, yeah, here's the button here, I'm gonna go ahead and press it, and as you can see, it does swap the crafting table there for a bookcase, uh, thus hiding the crafting table, I don't know why you would want to, but if you ever did, this is the device for you. Uh, moving on to number two. Okay, so here is a hidden 3x3 three three nether portal by Euclidus. I hope I said that right. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. It is hidden. As you can see, the glass uh, blocks here can be replaced with any blocks, uh, so it is hidden. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pull the lever so you guys can see. As you can see, I mean, you couldn't really tell from the side, but the glass uh, subsides and then uh, the portal is lit, making it a 3x3 three three portal. You can download this in the description, uh, make a schematic out of it, import it into your world if you're interested in that sort of thing. Uh, but moving on to number three. This one is sick, it is the smart waterfall, and as you just saw, uh, when it becomes nighttime, it will activate, and here's the redstone behind it, uh, there it is, just looks like that, and then whenever you make it nighttime, check it out, once it turns nighttime, the water will actually stop dispensing, maybe, maybe it has to be a little bit more night, let's go with that, there we go, okay, so once it's actually become nighttime, that water will uh, stop dispensing, and then it will dispense out some lava, which is pretty nice because uh, it provides some light uh, for nighttime. And uh, you don't have to be scared when you go to bed. You got yourself a nightlight right here. So up next is the mini TNT shotgun. Uh, we've got two options here. We've got the uh, 16 TNT version and the 8 TNT version. Let's go ahead and try both of them out. Here's the uh, 8 TNT. And watch it go, watch it go. Boom! That was so cool. Let's see what that's like. Oh man, that's a lot of TNT. <laughs> and, uh... As you can see, I mean, if that was on land, uh, it would be pretty devastating to the surrounding terrain uh, or enemies slash mobs. Okay, so this door is insane. This is a zero tick three by three door. Zero tick meaning it opens instantly. Now watch as I pull this lever, if you can instantly opens as soon as I press that lever very fast door zero tick super cool lots of redstone involved as you can see <laughs> there's no way I could uh, show you guys how to build this or explain the redstone it is so advanced but if you do want to download it link is in the description let's head on over to number six Is a hidden chest idea by soon 3867 uh, when I pull this lever here it will actually hide the chest uh, with just a few blocks here as you can see only three pistons and two redstone blocks are involved I can then um, unhide the chest by doing that of course obviously there's tons of simple ways of doing this this is just a 
different, unique way of only using these redstone blocks and pistons. So that's pretty cool. Just have some hidden chests or whatever you want to hide. It doesn't have to be a chest. Uh, but then you can open up your chest, get all your goodies. Okay, so here is our uh, 5x5 piston door, which is very cool. Here's the redstone behind it. Um, and I don't have the lever up front, unfortunately, so I'm just going to pull that and uh, open it. Uh, I could leave the redstone over here. In fact, yeah, I'm going to do that real quick so you guys can see just a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, that took just a second. But uh, whenever I pull this lever, you can see the blocks will retract. And then uh, the portal will be lit, which is very nice. It's a simple device, but uh, still very cool. So this is number eight. This is the 5x5 Piston Door by Zet Pro, And uh, this thing is just amazing. Uh, you you'll see. I'm just going to pull this lever now. And uh, before I can even look up, uh, it looks like the door closed at ultimate speeds. Let me try that again. But let's close it again. <laughs> it's so fast. That's such a fast 5x5 vault door. But still, very cool. It, it supposedly is the world's fastest 5x5 door. Just a fact. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. This is the Armor Stand Swapper by uh, Euclidus? Euclides again? I'm not sure how to say that, but uh, yeah, this is really cool. When I press this button, the armor will uh, actually swap, and then you can kind of choose uh, which armor you want to wear. So if I press it one more time, a gold armor stand pops up, which is cool. Let's press it again, and then the diamond one comes back to the top. And then, of course, I can go ahead and take this stuff off if I want. There we go. If I press it, it'll go down just like that. And uh, let me press it two more times so we can kind of see what's going on here. The slime block will hit it uh, with just enough force to knock it to the top slot. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the final redstone device, number 10. Here we are at number 10, this is the hidden tree door, very cool device, I am uh, a fan of this one here. When I pull the lever, the trunk will get extracted down a couple blocks as well as the block right next to it, uh, allowing you to safely enter a secret area, which is very cool, everyone likes hidden doors. Uh, but that is it for today's video, I hope you guys did enjoy, uh, if you did leave a like down below, let me know if you want to see some more list videos like this, uh, I'm really enjoying making these, uh, it gives me a chance to show off not just one thing to you guys, but a lot of stuff at once, and, and it's super cool, you guys totally deserve it, uh, Minecraft Universe now over 2.5 million subscribers, that is insane to me, um, but yeah, uh, other than that, I will talk to you guys later, and peace out.